test days as you might tell and we've been previously on the Honda Hornet 750 which is brand new for 2023 and now I have never tried it so I'm choosing you XADV so this is a hybrid between the between everything honestly speaking it's um half scooter half motorcycle it's a half road half off-road so uh this is something which i'm really looking forward to looks really interesting ladies and gentlemen so let's ride i'm gonna tell you a little bit about this mutant <laughs> <laughs> oh, cheesy, cheesy jokes. All right, so how do I hop on? Like a normal bike? Probably. All right, push the button. Get the rear seat on. So we have DCT on. Like not on on, but this is DCT. Let's start with the rain mode. All right, people. This is it. So <laughs> we are on a scooter. <laughs> well, this is hard to say if this is a scooter or not. Let me just get on. It's pretty. It's pretty high, by the way. Oh, it's so soft, man. It's so freaking soft. But you have adjustable suspension. All right. Oh, this is so freaking strange. What do I do? Oh, this is so strange. I can see these. Uh, let's say comfortable. The bars are really, really wide, man. Yeah, I, just, I see shit in here. I don't know what to do. <clears throat> wow. All right, so it feels light, but it's not, believe me. Third gear, really. I don't know where to put my feet, man. <laughs> there is no tank. I'm sitting on the tank. Oh my God, this is so strange. This is so strange. And there is a gravel. I love gravel, of course. I hate gravel, by the way. I'm a, I'm a race guy. I hate gravel. Gravel for me is a really bad thing. <laughs> but speaking about gravel, this motorcycle is actually off-road capable. Hopefully we are not going to do off-road, but I was told that if you are on these type of motorcycles, there are two types of rides. And as far as I can see, there are, uh, there are Trans Alp and Africa and shit like this in front of me. So uh, might be doing some of the off-road, but <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not really off-road guy, so. I am a little bit scared now, but whatever. Okay, the rain mode is like shifting a really, really in a low RPM. So, as I said, this is DCT, dual clutch transmission, so let's say automatic transmission. Uh, don't be fooled, guys, this is not a clutch, that's a rear brake, since this is half scooter, half motorcycle. <laughs> So yeah, this is a rear brake, this is a front brake. Obviously, I don't have any packs. I don't have, you know, rear brake on the, under the foot. I don't have a shifter. I have actually packs in, behind me, like right there, there is a pack. But a really strange position to have the, the feet on the pack. Like, see, this is like, I don't know, it's, it's so strange. Still, this is a scooter, so. More or less, it's a scooter. Not sure how to call it. All right, the Raymo is really lazy. Like, really, really lazy. But this might be caused not really by the laziness of the mode, but this could be caused by the motorcycle itself so let's go to the standard mode 
a little bit better. Oh yeah, that's a little bit better. So downship just happened. And it's pretty windy. And it's and it is strange to be riding uh, this, you know, sporty on a scooter. Alright, so first thought. Welcome on the Hello. So uh welcome on Honda Test Days. This is XADV so X adventure probably like mutant between the motorcycle and the scooter because why do I say this is mutant between motorcycle and a scooter because usually scooter doesn't have 750 cc engine that's the first thing furthermore usually scooter doesn't have a six gear gearbox that's another thing so th these are kind of like signature things from the motorcycle but obviously there is no fuel tank in front of me this is kind of like empty space like the scooter would have there is a 21 liter uh actually a storage under my butt so i'm sitting basically on the trunk so that's not usual for a motorcycle so that's kind of a scooter thing uh, obviously i have front brake and rear brake uh in here so that's kind of more that's more or less scooter thing so you see it's a combination of a motorcycle and a scooter so as i kind of started to describe the engine 745 cc engine parallel twin as far as i remember basic numbers uh about 55 horsepower I'm, I think something like 56 horsepower, 69 newton meters of torque. So newton meters, you know, torque pretty, pretty okay, respectable. Uh, 55 horsepower. Well, you know, it's a scooter. It's a scooter. It's a motorcycle. It's a moto scooter. I don't know what it is. <laughs> let's let's try. Let's try to figure it out together. Um, so it's a Honda s s mo moto scooter, scooter moto adventure scooter i don't know it's i'm saying you know it's a mutant as i said it's a mutant so a dual clutch transmission so automatic transmission i have to shift i can shift with the there is a plus and minus so plus is up there minus is down here so i can kind of you know go from uh, this uh manual to automatic and i can shift by myself with the uh, switches with the with the with the buttons i'm not going to do that because i want to know how the transmission in, is behaving in uh, different scenarios a lot of electronic course and features regarding the modes we have multiple modes and multiple settings uh in here we have five different modes we have rain we have standard we have rain we have standard we have sport we have a gravel and we have user before i was on a honda hornet didn't have gravel obviously but this has gravel gravel have different settings for the abs and different uh torque control you know engine braking uh stuff like that so yeah as i said mutes and not in a way just the scooter and a motorcycle but also adventure bike and city bike it, it's blowing my mind how you know how multi-useful this is like how many faces it has within the modes and and these these standard rain and 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 different settings you have a power setting you have engine braking setting you have drive so this is aggressiveness of shifting since this is dct uh traction control and abs abs is here due to the gravel setting which is a little bit more for a giving in a gravel uh you know lets you a little bit uh lock up the rear not a lot but it's you know it, there, there is different sensitivity for this that's why this is so so multi-useful so i'm just going to figure out how practical this really is and how is it to to ride this i'm still thinking this is a clutch this is very dangerous for people who are riding standard motorcycles with the clutch on this place because this is not clutch and i have to remind to myself all the time come on downshift 
But since you don't have the fuel tank right in front of you or right here that you're leaning on and you are sitting on the tank and actually this spot, that's where you, your, you know, fill up cap is, uh, feels really agile, feels really maneuverable since the all the weight from the fuel is set up down below with the engine. So feels a little flicky, feels really light. Uh, the handlebars are pretty wide, reminds me Africa or something like that, something really adventure and travel-y. This, I believe, is a parking brake, so don't yank it while you are riding. <laughs> Unless you want to do like hand stop turn or something, but I'm not going to try that, of course. Uh, at the beginning I said it's pretty, pretty tall. Uh, pretty high um, 820 millimeters is a seat height so yeah well that's pretty high so not for everyone or you have to get used to it oh yeah that's not a clutch man that's not a clutch I'm still thinking that's a clutch shit yep it's high it's really high and you cannot really ref the automatic motorcycle because it will just launch you it will just launch you in front so don't do that please just don't do that all right so i was able to change the display <laughs> a little little bit fiddly thing you don't have any let's say uh, uh enter button or confirm button or anything like that so you have to just hold and wait and then try to figure out it's not that much intuitive as, as, as I would like uh, it takes a little bit of the learning and, 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 and asking for help and, and stuff like that so it's not you know awesome but well it's not rocket science so you should be fine once you will figure it out okay so we are gonna have the sporty part of the of the route now so I'm gonna go to the sport mode so least traction most aggressive dct setup most power most engine braking well it's not slow <laughs> well it ain't slow 69 newton meters uh, kind of it kind of oh those downshifts are aggressive i feel like on racetrack with this downshift on dct man how do I ride with this? Like like supermoto or the scooter or like should I like stick the knee out? I'm not really sure mate. Or should I use the rear pegs now? Yeah, this is the time for the rear pegs now. Okay, nice and light. And the sound is not that bad actually. Like it's really interesting well it's not a race bike but it's not bad <laughs> Woo. all right I'm keeping up I'm keeping up. So regarding the 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 rider comfort, um, I can say that there is a plenty of comfort. Like you are sitting on a scooter, so it's not bad, you know. It's it's comfy. The the handlebars are wide. They are not too high, not too low. Uh, the feet, well, <laughs> could be better, but this is scooter, so you cannot really. Uh, you cannot be really, you know, expecting that you will like hold the tank or you'll have some sporty position or something. It's, it's, you know, it's fine. Regarding the, the, the seating position, like it's a scooter, you know, it's a scooter with wider handlebars. So the seating is pretty fine, like I don't feel any issues. Like the seat could be a little bit more differently shaped. Maybe I have just weird butt, I don't know. But could be a little bit differently shaped, it's not the most comfortable one I've ever sit on. 
but it may be just the issue for me. Maybe you will be totally fine here. I'm not sure. I don't know. Oh, dog. You see? It's really agile, man. It's really, really agile. Thanks to the low... Ah, come on! Keep up! Ah, this is such a good weather. It's a little bit windy and gusty. I don't know why, but I feel the gust more on this than on usual motorcycle. Maybe just gust got stronger, but I don't know. It kind of feels strange. Maybe, maybe due to the fact it's pushing my whole body. Like before, it's like a tank. I know I'm still complaining about the tank, but I'm not used to the scooter. So, of course I'm missing a tank, you know? Woo! This is for throttle. Like, it's not slow, man. Okay, let's make it much more complicated for me. So, menu, minus, plus. You see? So that is four, three, two, three, four. So yeah, I'm doing that manually. So let's give it a go. I'm not sure how, how it's gonna go because um, I would say that the I don't know, I would say the plus should be below and minus should be up top, like, I don't know why, but I just had a feeling, so... Another thing to get used to. That's why I wanted to try this motorcycle so bad, like, this is so different to everything else. Combination of a, of a scooter, of a motorcycle, of adventure, of city, like, I don't know, it's so, so... It's such a multitask. Okay, so plus, uh, minus, because you have also the turn signals here, so I'm trying to not to hit the turn signals. So that's a little bit uh, strange. There's a lot of thinking right now for me, you know, since I have to like shift with hands, and this is not a clutch, and you don't have to do anything with the... Uh, with the feet, it's a, uh, it's pretty much mindfuck. A lot of going on in my little blonde head right now. But it's fun. Like, don't take me wrong. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. This is a. Uh, I'm not feeling comfortable to be riding at such a rhythm and such a tempo on this. But obviously, I can stick with the guys. So it is really capable and that is really big plus. Like I'm 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 positively surprised. And the sound, well, that's a plus 10 point. Woo! <laughs> Now I'm missing horsepower. Whew, mate. So yeah, it's a, uh, it's it's um, it's catchy. <laughs> um, like I'm not complaining. It uh, it is really capable. It is multi-useful. It is strange to sit on. Yes, I'm missing the gas tank. But overall, like, it can really like hold on to the guys in front. Like, this is obviously about my skill as well. So, could be maybe handled a little bit differently, better with a feel or something. But, you know, obviously this is my first time on a motorcycle. On the Moto Scooter, the Hybrid Axe ADV.
<laughs> so whatever yeah it's it's totally fine um still feeling a little bit uncomfortable on the seat i wouldn't i wouldn't have chosen this as a i don't know top five top ten or something it's it's fun it's interesting really usable thanks to this uh mutant concept and uh yeah a lot of fun mate thankfully i don't have to try gravel mode since uh, there is no gravel route So ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. I'm just going to park it at the top. So what's the final verdict? Um, you know It's really capable. I'm positively surprised DCT unpredictable as well as usually. Oh, there is a snake man Oh, wow <laughs> Didn't kill it. So that's fine um, yeah, I'm surprised um, a little bit uh, Lacking in the power department, but still this is a let's say ski city scooter adventure scooter or something So it's totally fine. You know if you like How it looks if you like the concept like it's a half scooter half motorcycle Like why not you know, it's not for me. I'm glad I tried it. I, I'm, I'm glad I picked into this department But yeah okay thanks for watching guys see you on the next one in a couple of minutes cheers